From the time I was little, I always wanted to be a artist, creative person somehow. I liked to draw. I liked looking at pictures. But I also liked to read. What I sort of hoped was there was some way to combine the explicit communicative power of writing with the magical um, power of images. Mysteriously, I was able to kind of figure out what my future was, and it ended up being tied up in that particular field. I studied graphic design at the University of Cincinnati. Um, after I graduated, I moved to New York and took a job with one of the greatest designers in the world, Massimo Vignelli, where I worked for 10 years and really uh, apprenticed myself to him and honed my craft. 25 years ago, I joined Pentagram as a partner in his New York office, and that's where I've been ever since. I've been working in New York now for 35 years. I still consider myself, you know, an Ohioan. I still consider myself someone from out of town. I don't know how long you have to live here before you consider yourself a real New Yorker, but I don't feel like I'm there yet. The city of New York still has the capacity to surprise me and scare me and exasperate me. It's not just a place where you live or work, it's a place that really defines the way you live and the way you work. It sort of is an exciting environment from that point of view, and I think it also is for people who get used to it sort of addictive. Any other place just doesn't deliver the same adrenaline rush and uh, doesn't bring out your best. WMC was an amazing environment. Sometimes you just sit in the audience and you feel fairly passive. It's like, you know, here's the next speaker, okay, entertain me. I think uh, WMC is different. It, the, the speakers are completely and uniformly, I would say, engaging across the board. I spoke late in the afternoon and was very influenced, in fact, by all the speakers that I saw coming up before me onto the stage. I was taking notes and sort of saying, oh, don't say this, don't say that, or I should really build on this, or he said that a lot better than I ever have. And I think that's really the mark of a good conference, somehow physically bringing people together to the same space, having them all together, making not just the formal contacts you make, but you know who you're sitting next to, who you run into during a break, who you encounter out on Euclid when you're stepping outside to get some fresh air. All those things are actually just as valid and just as exciting and just as important as the thing that happens when you're sitting in the audience and the light goes down. Not every conference delivers that, and not every conference is designed to deliver that, but I think that WMC absolutely is, and that's what makes it, I think, so successful. In my office here, we do all sorts of different projects. Recently, we finished what probably was a year-long process to design a new brand identity for the Wildlife Conservation Society. Coming up with a way to graphically express that was really a challenge. On the other hand, I can get a phone call from, say, someone at the New York Times Book Review and they'll say, would you do a cover for us? Worked on it for a few hours, took it down and added some color to it, and um, that became that cover. One job can take 12 months, the other one can take, you know, honestly, 120 minutes maybe. Um, and then you see it uh, in your mailbox within days. Two different kinds of projects, both equally compelling, both equally interesting to me, and it's that difference that I think makes it fun working. Let me put it in photo mode one sec. You get the idea onto paper, today onto a computer screen, whatever medium you're using, but then ultimately goes out into the world, it launches. Then, then it's not, not yours anymore. You know, it's part of the fabric of the world. And sometimes you do something and it just disappears. Other times you do something enduring. Sometimes you, don't expect, you do things that you don't expect to last. What makes being a designer fun is this idea that you get to constantly, every day, participate in a process where things are going from the private to the public, from one thing to many things, from your mind out into the world, and it's something that I never get tired of, and it's a thing that I always look forward to participating in when I arrive in the office every day.